Hello, every brony. It is Owl Knight, and it is brony time. And welcome to my thoughts on the Bethesda E3 conference. Now, I'm sure you all know that I did this last one on a other device, but now, since I have the chance, I'm doing it right here. Let's just say, better than EA, I think we all knew... I came into this conference kind of scared it wasn't going to be as good as the last one because, you know, they introduced Doom, Fallout 4, it was all that hype. But they did introduce some DLC for Fallout 4, one in which you get to build your own vault and something with conveyor belts. But it really piqued my interest. Like, even some of the games that they showed that I didn't really care about piqued interest. Dishonored 2 surprisingly piqued interest. And, heck, even Elder Scrolls Online peak. Well, I'm not really planning on playing it, but they did talk about, like, having non-restricted, you know, world. Which means no matter what level you are, you can join up with any group you want, go anywhere you want. Which really was like, huh. And I was like, interesting. I've never seen that before. And that's what games are supposed to do, especially online MMOs. If you have non-level capped areas, then by far more people are going to play it. <laughs> because, you know, it's just like, why can't I go here, here, here? And if you can, uh, uh. oh. <sighs> um, anyway. So, yeah, Dishonored 2 really piqued interest. Um, uh, it had travel between worlds. Heck, I was watching this stream along with Josh Scorcher, Ank Rose, and many other people. And they were all... Josh was like, hey, I might play Dishonored 2, which is a long shot. Um, but he originally didn't care about it, and it made him care about it too. So that was especially interesting. Uh, yeah, can't really think of anything else. Oh, uh, building your own vault DLC, so pumped for that. I have a season pass, so I get it for free! Um... I really, I might just start picking up again and play it just for the designated the DLC because I'd be interested. But the problem is, is on console, I can't cheat. If I can't cheat, I'll die a lot and I'll run out of ammo and I can't do it. Uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, remaster Skyrim. Yes, I know what I want for Christmas. Anyway, um... That's my overall reactions. Up next is the Xbox One at a 2.30, I believe, because it's at 12.30 in Los Angeles, which they're three hours behind us, and we're three hours ahead. So right now, it's four in the morning in uh, Los Angeles. So at 2.30, that's when the Xbox conference will be. So, all right, that does... It for my reactions to the Bethesda E3 conference showcase, and it was as not as good as last year, but still really good. Peaked interest, and they're able to take the old stuff and introduce something new and exciting. So, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Brewing Time for more content. And I will see you guys after the Xbox One Microsoft. Bye.